Hi guys, I'm Emily Sedona and I live out of my Toyota RAV4 part-time. And today I'm gonna show you how to make some really cheap but super effective window coverings for when you need to stealth camp. So as I've mentioned in my car tour, which I will link below, uh, right now I use these custom WeatherTech window coverings. They have a little reflective side and also a blackout side for stealth camping, whether you're in a city, what have you. On my last trip, one of my window coverings blew out of the car, somehow got lost in my travels. So today I'm gonna show you how to make your own. Before this channel was born, I was living out of a Toyota Corolla and really had kind of just started traveling around the country by myself, figuring out what works for car travel and car life. And so I had made these. This is exactly how I stored them with this sparkly little scarf. And basically each window in my Corolla had this custom sheet that I cut out of Reflectix and put a black fabric on the back so that I could stealth camp. So I'm going to show you how to make these today. And I'm going to make one to cover this back little triangle porthole window. That's the one that I'm missing. So I'll show you the step-by-step. -step. So this is the window in question. What you're going to want to do is go to a home improvement store. I went to Home Depot and you can get this roll of Reflectix. Comes in a whole bunch of different sizes. Pretty cheap. I think mine was like under 15 bucks and you can do your whole car with it. So for the sake of the video, what you're going to want to do is take your whole roll and kind of line your window. And this is like a tin foil material, so it's going to kind of crease and you'll be able to see. And then you're going to take an X-Acto knife. And without, it's a double layered material, so you're gonna wanna just cut through the first layer to kind of mark what we're doing here. So we've kind of marked that out. And then what you're gonna wanna do is put this on a flat surface and follow the markings all the way around, cut this guy out. And now we're gonna have the moment of truth. This is totally moldable. So you actually want a little bit of a lip to create a little bit of tension to keep that in there. And it fits and it works. Now you could totally stop at this. If I were on the road and I had to create a window covering in a pinch, I would honestly just leave it like this because I'm not gonna go through all the time of having to glue something, let it sit outside to aerate. But because I do have the ability to kind of go the extra mile with this, we're gonna make this a stealth camp window covering. So first step, you're gonna wanna mark which side of the Reflectix you're going to glue your fabric onto, just so you don't mix everything up and end up with a bunch of different mismatched window coverings. So I'm gonna take this out. This is going to be the Reflectix side because it's in the car, so I don't care what that looks like. But the this side, the side that's on the outside of the car, is going to be black fabric. So I'm quickly, the only tool I have on hand is this, so I'm just gonna draw a little X on it so I don't get confused. So what you're gonna wanna do now is take your black fabric of choice. I will be using my ex-boyfriend's t-shirt. If you don't have one of those, you can just go to the fabric store and get any kind of black fabric. You can make it decorative if you want to, but I prefer to go with black because that kind of keeps your car really inconspicuous when you have to sleep in a hotel parking lot. So what you're gonna wanna do is just take some scissors and cut a square fabric in the shirt. And then the other important part of this is adhesive. So you're gonna just wanna do a thick coat of spray adhesive. This is the Elmer's. It's kind of expensive. I would also recommend E600 craft glue, but you would have to use a paintbrush to cover every inch of this. So we're gonna spray it, and then we're gonna put the black fabric over top. Make sure you are spraying onto the side that you marked because this is going to be the black side and then we're gonna weight it down. So I'll show you what that looks like. 
Okay, so now we have our fabric. It's covering the glue. We are going to put something flat and heavy on this to kind of keep the fabric weighted down to the edges. I'm not too worried about the middle because as long as the edges are on, the fabric will stay on. And this is gonna sit overnight to fully dry and then we'll come check on it in the morning for our final steps. So it's been about 24 hours now. Here is our little square and Looked like it took pretty well to that fabric. So now what I'm gonna do is just cut the excess off with some fabric scissors. So I think that came out really, really nice. You don't wanna leave too much extra fabric because then it can't press into the window because it really needs the tension from this kind of reflectix material. So this is the first time I'm trying it out. And let's see. Is it fit? Oh, look at that. Perfect. First try. Nice. Let's see what it looks like from the outside. And here it is from the outside. As you can see, you can see through these two back panels. Can't see through here. There I am. <laughs> Uh, it would be better to test at night, but like I said, that's blackout, so you're not going to be able to see in or out. No light can slip through the cracks because it's totally filled. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you guys learned something. Like and follow if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys later. Thanks for tagging along on all my road trips. I love ya.